This is Fox Springfield News at 9. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Melanie Streeper. In just three days, Donald Trump will be sworn in as the next president of the United States. And a recently released CNN poll is showing how dismal the public's perception is of the president-elect. According to the poll, Trump's approval rating is just 40 percent. That is below his three predecessors. President Obama took office in 2009 with an approval rating of 84 percent. President Bush's approval rating in 2001 was 61 percent and President Clinton's approval rating was 67 percent after he was elected. While preparations for his inauguration are underway in D.C., many Democrats are coming forward to say they will boycott the ceremony. This comes after Trump publicly bashed civil rights icon and Congressman John Lewis on Twitter. I will not be going. People have not forgotten uh, that he attacked a Mexican-American judge, that he attacked a Gold Star family, and now a civil rights icon. I cannot pretend that this is a normal uh, transition of power. I think it's irresponsible for people uh, like himself to question the legitimacy of the next United States president. More than three dozen members of Congress have said they will boycott Mr. Trump's inauguration. And this morning, Congressman Rodney Davis appeared on our sister station, News Channel 20. We asked him what he thought about the controversy surrounding Donald Trump's comments and whether it was disrespectful for his colleagues to skip the inauguration. Uh, you know, I wish President-elect Trump and my colleague and friend John Lewis would both take a deep breath and, uh, and realize this is more than just about them. Mm -hmm. This is about the peaceful transition of power in the greatest country in the history of the, history of the world. If people don't want to show up to the inauguration because they don't want to get rained on, great. But let's not call the president-elect illegitimate. To hear the full interview with Congressman Davis, head to our website, foxillinois.com. One woman from South Jacksonville is planning to be in Washington, D.C. for Friday's inauguration. Kim Wilson is calling it the trip of a lifetime, watching President-elect Donald Trump get sworn in as the 45th president. Wilson owns a hair salon in Jacksonville. She says this will be her first trip to our nation's capital. Wilson also says while there, she plans to tour the Washington Monument. It is a trip she has saved up for, but one she says she would not miss for the world. I do believe in Donald Trump, and I do believe in making America great again. Um, the last eight years under Barack Obama have been horrible in my idea, and I am looking forward to his ideas and his positivity. Wilson says she is beyond excited to take the trip, and in spite of the controversy surrounding Trump, she's all set to arrive in D.C. on Wednesday. Happening now, Senate hearings for Donald Trump's cabinet nominees continue today. Representative Ryan Zinke, the nominee for Interior Secretary, will be questioned, as well as Betsy DeVos, who has been tapped to head the Education Department. DeVos's hearing could be challenging because she is an heir to the Amway fortune. The paperwork that would prevent her possible financial conflict of interest was still missing from the Government Ethics Office website as of Monday night. Also, some educators in Michigan are blaming her for hurting many kids with her push for charter schools. In international news, in a highly anticipated speech, British Prime Minister Theresa May laid out Britain's plan to leave the European Union this morning. May committed to placing a final Brexit deal to a vote in both houses of the UK Parliament. Today's speech was the first time she's outlined her plan for extracting Britain from the European Union. May says her decision does not change UK's relationship with its European neighbors. We are leaving the European Union, but we are not leaving Europe. And that is why we seek a new and equal partnership between an independent, self-governing global Britain and our friends and allies in the EU. Not partial membership of the European Union, associate membership of the European Union, or anything that leaves us half in, half out. The decision to leave the EU was passed by the British people. In theory, UK's parliament could block the deal. When asked what would happen in that scenario, May avoided a direct answer. 
In our Capitol Watch tonight, Chicago State Senator Kwame Raul is hinting he might run for governor in 2018. At an MLK breakfast yesterday, he told WLS in Chicago that the state was headed down the wrong path. Billionaire J.B. Pritzker has also been named as a possible choice. Some Democrats say he would be able to financially match Governor Rauner, who has committed 50 million of his own money to win re-election. An association representing 37 Springfield hotels says the proposal to raise the hotel motel tax may further damage Springfield's economy. Springfield Mayor Jim Langfelder has proposed raising the hotel motel tax from 6 to 7 percent to help fund operating expenses at Oak Ridge Cemetery. The Springfield Hotel Lodging Association President Darren Dame says the increase could keep some conventions away from Springfield. I don't think you're going to see revenues increase. I think you'd see them decrease. Because so, you think that they'll just go to neighboring cities? I think that you're going to see um, neighboring cities. I think you're going to see some of the conventions that we might build that we've had in the past maybe uh, start leaving. The increase would keep Springfield in line with other central Illinois cities, including Peoria, Champaign, and Decatur. The State Journal Register is reporting that the McDonald's on MacArthur Boulevard will be closing at the end of the month. The paper reports that the owner is closing after 60 years to concentrate on his other locations in Chatham and on Freedom Drive in Springfield. Displaced employees have been offered positions at those two locations. Police in Kincaid are searching for a man they believe burglarized two businesses multiple times in a six-day stretch. On January 3rd, the Kincaid Diner was broken into and the cash register stolen. The Phillips 66 gas station next door was also broken into and 40 packs of cigarettes were stolen. Then, six days later, Phillips 66 was broken into once again. Surveillance video showing the thieves searching for a key to open the cash register and stealing an undisclosed amount of cash. The suscript suspect is described as six feet tall with a slim build. Funeral arrangements for former Macon County Sheriff Lee Holsapel have been announced. Visitation will be held after 4 p.m. today at the Brinklinger and Earl Funeral Home. Funeral services will take place Wednesday at 4 p.m. Holsapel was 80 years old when he died Sunday morning from natural causes. He served three terms as sheriff from 1986 until 1998. Still to come on Fox Springfield News at 9, an increasing number of women are having kids later in life. We'll tell you how DNA could play a role next.